Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome to my channel, where we share scientific material with Creative Commons license on various topics related to health in general. I hope you and your family are in very good health. Today I want to share with you a study published in 2022, in the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, that has the following title, Torsade de Points QD Prolongation Associated with Antifungal Triazoles, a pharmacovigilance study based on the US FDA Adverse Event Reporting System fairs. Greetings and thanks to the authors Zicheng Yu and Xiaolan Liao. The reference to the study can be found below in the video description. First of all I want to clarify that the content provided on this YouTube channel is for educational and informational purposes only. It should not be considered medical or professional advice. If you have any concerns or questions about your health, we recommend that you consult a doctor or qualified health professional. Let's get started. Triazoles as Antifungal Agents Triazoles act as antifungal agents by affecting the synthesis of ergosterol, which is typical of fungal cell membranes. Triazoles also interfere with mammalian enzymes, which can cause adverse off-target effects. Triazoles include fluconazole, itraconazole, posaconazole, and voriconazole. Torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation. In recent years, a growing number of torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation related to triazoles have been reported. QD prolongation is an etiological factor of torsade de points, TDP, that is a life-threatening dysrhythmia disease related to the risk of sudden cardiac death. Data Mining and Adverse Event, AE, Reporting System Data mining is a useful method for signal detection in pharmacovigilance recommended by the Report of the Council for International Organizations of Medical Sciences Working Group. Few studies have been conducted to mine triazoles associated adverse event AE signals by combining algorithms with real world data. The AE reporting system created by the US FDA, FDA AERS or FRS, is an enormous database of adverse event AE reports. Disproportionality analysis, DPA, is one of the popular signal detection algorithms, which mainly contains four detection indicators. R, reporting odds ratio. PRR, proportional reporting ratio. IC, information component. EBGM, empirical Bayesian geometric mean. The results of data mining algorithms. 20,250 cases were regarded as torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation. 448 cases were reported after the involved triazoles treatment. The values of all four methods indicated at the therapeutic use of triazoles was correlated with torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation. The largest number of records were reported by physician, 40.18%, and the second was reported by the pharmacist, 16.74%. The highest percentage of records of torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation, was found to be related to fluconazole, 61.61%. Torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation adverse effects could occur within 0 to 14 days after taking all the four triazoles. The selection process of torsade de points, QD prolongation cases linked to triazoles from FDA Adverse Event Reporting System FRS database. Table of Adverse Event Signals of Torsade de Points, QD prolongation associated with triazoles. The proportion of the onset time of torsade de points, QD prolongation events occurrence following triazoles treatment. Discussion Torsade de points, TDP, QD prolongation might lead to serious and even fatal outcomes and proactive prevention and management of it is highly warranted. 
A possible mechanism of drug-induced QD prolongation is blocking repolarizing potassium currents by inhibiting potassium efflux channels. Hypokalemia was significantly related to QD prolongation. Conclusion Triazoles are increasingly used in clinical practice for antifungal triazoles therapy. Our present study confirms the antifungal triazoles associated torse de points, TDP, QD prolongation that occurs 0 to 14 days after the therapy commencement. Thank you very much for being on that side, I hope you have enjoyed this content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell and give it a like, which helps me and motivates me to create more content.